Hi guys, today we're back again with the top play to earn and NFT games of the week, DeFi Kingdoms. Operating on the Harmony One blockchain, DeFi Kingdom is a play to earn MMORPG game. The game has a lot to offer with rare utility driven NFTs, DEXs, and the liquidity pool. With the Uniswap V2 protocol, the game has a jewel token for a tradable asset in the Harmony mainnet. You can also swap these tokens or create an LP pair, which would turn your time into a mining token in the liquidity farming pools. These, these jewel tokens are also available as a reward for the liquidity in the gardens. If you acquire them, you can take them to the jewelers to get more bonuses. The game is all about purchasing land and building your kingdom on it with heroes who would protect your gardens. These heroes can also be customized with your equipment crafted by you to give them a personal touch and distinct powers. Mobox NFT Farmer Mobox NFT Farmer is a free-to-play game that is heavily focused on NFTs. It has a growing DeFi ecosystem perfectly blended with unique NFTs. The infrastructure will provide the best yield strategies and generate NFTs that are one-of-a-kind for the players and can be used in all of the games developed by the Mobox team. The game is very easy to play and all you have to do is deposit some stable coins or the LP tokens in the 8 incentivized LP pools. The game returns with its players with the benefits of yields and smart contracts that generate a key. These keys open up a treasure chest that contain unique NFTs known as Momos that can be used across multiple platforms. These NFTs are staked by default on the Mobox platform where they mine the governance token called MOBA, called Ambox. And these NFTs have a stronger mining power and will help you gain more rewards. Wolf Game The Wolf Game is a very easy one and it's on the first one as it is a very simple game. Let's say you own a low price NFT and you stake it in a barn which will give you about 10,000 wolves per day. Now if you bought a sheep for about $500 as an investment, the stake will give you about $100 a day if the wool is valued at 10 cents. You'll get your $500 back in 5 days and the other earnings are just profits. There are only 5 billion sheep in the game and so there is breeding involved. Each breeding will result in a unique NFT, but they are generation 2 sheep and you can only make a lot of money from generation 1 sheep. One more thing, when you stake your sheep in the barn, then the wolves take 20% of what you make, which means you have to minus that from the $100 you just earned. The farmers have made a pact that the wolves won't eat them away if they pay 20%. So with 9,000 sheep and 1,000 wolves, the wolves have more value and they're sold for thousands of dollars. Salamanders This one works on the Solana network. In this one, the plot is to have a generation 2 salamanders make a passive income. We picked this one up for you as this is also a very simple game and you can easily make money from it. As they launch Gen 1 Salamanders, they will start the passive earning from Gen 2 Salamanders where you have to put the Generation 2 Salamander in the Terrarium tank to earn pellets. So basically just like the sheep, you're staking Salamanders in the tank to earn an in-game token. Pellets are the in-game token that you can later exchange from Solana to make money from it. Illuvium Illuvium is an RPG game where you can mine, harvest, capture, and fight the Illuvials. The card is automatic and a stronger one wins, so compile a good team before entering the battle. The strength of these teams depends on their status, classes, and affinities. All of these assemblies have their unique attributes and you can compensate for their weakness by synergy and this could help you a lot with the winning streak. Now with these wins, you can get an ERC20 token on the Ethereum blockchain called the ILV. The game is very user friendly and you can become a part of the Illuminati and the ILV also gives you voting power in the protocol. Now to turn it into fiat currency, the official liquidity pool is hosted on SushiSwap. You can earn in-game rewards in ILV through various competitions and tournaments. by completing PvE quests. Or you can also capture alluvials and collect resources to buy and sell them on the Alluvidex, the in-game marketplace. Blood Rune. This one is a card game, a legacy role-playing tabletop card game. This one is very simple as well. Here you role-play as a character in an ongoing game. These characters are looking for fame, fortune, love, and power. The game's unique saga system establishes location, challenges, and goals that'll deduce the course of your adventure. These NFTs are minted under the token BRC, which is short for Blood Rune Coin. Now, let's talk about Phantasma. Phantasma has an extremely low cost, which is very beneficial for an average gamer. This NFT has a very powerful standard, and its cross-chain functionality and its versatility on-chain and on-demand allow the developers at Blood Rune to offer an amazing gaming experience on a global scale. 
Impulse. I'm sure this is the best on the list with great graphics as the game invites you to an armed combat setting. Created by Ascendance Games and eliminates the boundaries letting people from every corner of the world join the game and have fun together competing. The game has a 16 player capacity and you start with a human shaped synth which can morph itself as you progress through the game. The choice is on you if you want it to be a cyborg or a werewolf. You can be anything, you can even become a hybrid like an alien cyborg. These characters can then be put into the NFT marketplace and the blockchain ensures that it is the unique NFT and you have full ownership. You have to collect DNAs from various realms in the game to create these unique characters and you can even merge two NFTs. League of Kingdoms In a game that gives all of the powers and ownership to its users, the land belongs to you and you can do anything on it. But make sure to have a strategy in the game with instincts and diplomacy to excel. The game offers you a virtual kingdom where you need to supervise the resources and build an army while taking care of the economy and perfecting your gameplay. You can rest assured that there is no challenge here but with other users in the game, the biggest challenge is to beat them. The game is set to test your strategy, tactic, and decision making. Your best chance would be to invite your friends and form a network of alliances to build a strong resistance. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more fun games like these where you can make